So today's home workout with your online trainer, Lucy Windham-Reed, is a seven minute at home total body workout. But this is a very different workout because it's going to be fun, but it's still going to be effective. And we're going to go on a virtual workout adventure. Now for this, you don't need any equipment. I'm going to include the warm up in the workout. And the idea with this, I wanted to create something that was a little bit different, that really also helped with our mental health, that made us feel good, that had positivity as well as still getting that heart rate up and still giving you a great workout. So if you're ready, I'm ready to take you on possibly one of your best workouts ever. So for the first 30 seconds, I want you just to be doing a warm up. So how today's workout is going to work is I'm not going to preview any moves. You're literally just going to be follow me. We've got lots of different moves, lots of different scenes, and it's really a bit of a fun fitness, a virtual adventure this. I wanted to create something that was going to give you the feel good factor, something so different from anything else. So we're just marching on the spot for the first bit. This is helping with our warm up. And then what we're going to get ready to do now is take it for 45 seconds to a light jog. Now, if you prefer just to carry on doing the walking, that's absolutely fine. You use this workout to suit you. All right, so let's just keep going. And this is all about helping those feel good hormones. So we're gonna boost those endorphin levels. I also want to help reduce any anxiety and stress. All right, that's good. So if you're doing the jogging on the spot, what I want you to do is just make sure you land nice and softly on your feet. That's good. And just going from one foot to the other. So we're just pretending that we're running. And this is just gonna help increase our heart rate so we're getting fitter and stronger every time we exercise. And then we're gonna get ready to change the move. Now this time, we're gonna go for doing a skater's lunge just for 30 seconds this time. So you just take that one foot behind and out to the side and you just bring over the hand to the opposite side, just keeping that going from one side to the other. So again here, you can see we're working your entire body with all these moves. And if at any time, you can always just bring that straight back to a simple march or jog on the spot. And with every scene, you get a different workout. So for this one, you're going to do four toe taps and then you go for doing a tiny squat. So we do this for a duration of 50 seconds. So imagine we're just tapping that water and then we go for that tiny squat. So it's four toe taps and we're bringing the arms in as well, and then a tiny squat. So let's just keep going. And just think while you're doing this, think of all the different things that we're doing. So we're increasing your health, we're working on your mental health, your joint health, your bone health, your heart health. All right, that's good. And it's a really sunny day because those clouds keep changing. So let's just take in that lovely green scenery as well, because this is where it's so good for our mind and for our positivity as well and just keeping that going, tiny little taps. So we're gonna get ready for the next move. This time now, we're gonna just go for doing a side step from one to the other. You're doing this for a duration of 45 seconds and just keep the knees slightly bent. And if you wanna work this a little bit harder, just make the move a little bit deeper, step wider. That's good, and just keep going from one side to the other. So we've just got 20 seconds left on this move. So really take in that beautiful view. It's good. And just step that nice and wide. Just going from one side, knees staying slightly bent. So we're really focusing on your lower body here. Plus we're really engaging those core muscles because we're keeping the arms bent. So those core muscles are working with your stabilization from going from one side to the other. All right, that's good. So we're gonna get ready now for our next scene. Now this time, we're gonna do a knee crunch. So it's opposite elbow to knee. You're doing this for a duration of 40 seconds. So just keep that upper back nice and straight for me. And you'll really feel this one through the waist. It's also really good to help with your balance, your flexibility. And we've just got from now, we've got the last 20 seconds on this move. So really now, bring in those both arms if you can and just take that from one side to the other. Back stays nice and straight. Focus on keeping those tummy muscles pulled in because that then really works deep into those core muscles known as the transverse abdominus, your deepest abdominal muscle. All right, that's good. And your next move, this time now, I want you to step forward with one foot and open up the arms. So as if we're being appreciative of this amazing view, we're gonna do 30 seconds leading with one leg. So you always step forward with that leg and tap the other foot back. 
and just open up with the arms. Just keeping that going, that's good. Remember the foot that you're tapping forwards on because we're gonna change that halfway through. So you step, when that scene changes, what I want you to do now is get ready to take that to the opposite foot. So now step the opposite foot in and really just open up those arms. Nice big arms, so 30 seconds. You can see here, again, we're working your upper body. We're also then working through the lower body. Doing really well. And add that little tap and reach those arms out nice and wide. So this is also really good to work on your coordination, what we also call your motor skills, so your mind and body engagement. Okay, so we'll just do last one of those. So for your next move, this time now, just imagine you're doing a march, but you're doing it with straight arms and you're taking that foot behind. That's good. So again, it's another really powerful move. We're just doing this one for a duration of 40 seconds. We've nearly finished today's workout. So this one here, we're working through all the joints. So this is where it's really good. You can also focus on keeping those core tummy muscles pulled in nice and tight. You've got less than 20 seconds to go on this move. So nice straight arms. And we've got that tiny little bend in between. That's good, and let's just go last 10 seconds. Then we're gonna stay on the same scene, but we're gonna do a slightly different move. And what we're gonna do for this one coming up now, I want you just to do a tiny little bend and just open up the arms and take one foot out to the side. And we're doing this for 40 seconds. So the more you do this workout, then the easier it will be to come from one transition from an exercise to another because the workout will become familiar with you. So let's just keep going. So again here, I'm working through your shoulders, your elbows, your knees, your hips, your ankles. So it's a full body move. This, if you want to make it a little bit harder, just bend deeper to take those arms nice and wide. Doing really well. And we've nearly finished today's workout. All right, that's good. We've just got one more move coming up. Good, and for the last move, this time now, we're just gonna do a little hop. Now, if you want to add that jump, you're just doing it for 35 seconds. So if you wanna work really hard, jump faster and take it deeper, or you can just take it to a little toe tap from one side to the other. Last little bit today. That's good, and remember, the great thing is with exercise, what you've just done now, you have just invested in your future health. And as your trainer, one thing that I always want to do is bring you unique workouts. You saw this one here first. And I also want to make exercise fun because this has got to be part of a lifestyle. So well done, there is your high five. Now what I want you to do for me is just carry on marching for the next 30 seconds, all right? And what I just wanted to say is remember, what I want to do is teach you that this is about a lifestyle. And the key thing is with exercise, it's about finding workouts that you enjoy. Because that way then, as said, we just make it part of our daily life. And the great thing is, every time you work out, you are investing in your future health and your mental health as well. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And do come and find me on all my social media channels. Do let me know um, how you're getting on with your training. And what I would suggest at the end of the video, now if you just click on the little link and come and do a stretch with me.